Hey guys and welcome back to Game of Thrones part 16 I think I am Bear Force. So let's get on with this story and if you wonder why my this side of my face is so bright it's because of the window over there and the sun is shining like a lot. That's my explain so don't you worry about that. And we found out uh, that Sir Valor killed my brother in the last one. So now we are gonna do, I don't know, go on a rampage to find him or something. Alice, That's at least what I think. Able to discover anything? Yes. I know the murderers in the sewers were targeting a boy by the name of Cedric Rivers. His last name leaves no room for doubt. He's a bastard child, just like those the Queen is hunting down. Yeah. But the assassins also killed whoever else was in the hideout at that time. And that's how Garwin fell victim to them. Oh. Dreadful have been allowed to happen. I see. Okay. I now understand. I didn't know that earlier. So he was at the wrong, wrong place at the wrong time that got him murdered. Uh why not give him the whole story? He really is dead. His body was moved to the city watchtower. I saw it with my own eyes. Yeah. By the father. That poor boy. Sir Desmond told me of the bandits you encountered. Was it they who killed Garwin? The Reapers did the dirty work. There's no denying that. But they were just pawns. They are now paying for their crimes. Are they? I coerced some of their members to tell me what happened, and that information led me to the city watchtower. Oh, yeah. That's where I found Garwin's corpse. But that's not all. The leader of the Reapers, the murderer himself, was locked up there. He confessed everything. The commander of the city watch paid him to carry out the task. Then he left him to rot in the dungeons, so that the crime would never be traced back to him. And here is the proof. Look at this letter. It was Valar himself who gave the assassination order to the commander of the city watch. He's behind everything. Are you saying your half-brother murdered Garwin? I do not understand. Why I do. Did he do such a thing. He looks after his own interests above everything else. Look at what's written here. See that you do not leave any witness. He must have known that Garwin would be with Cedric. Valar was trying to capture my brother after all. This was an ideal opportunity for him. He didn't leave him any chance of clearing his name. You believe he acted out of revenge? Obviously. Yeah. He wants to wipe out the Sarwicks and take control of Riverspray. Valar used That's what I think. To get but I mean... The one less obstacle in the way of his conquest. Yeah. He is now assured that he will become I head so, of House Sarwick, being both my sister's husband and my father's only descendant. What are you planning to do? Fuck him up was in the box. Of course. I can't just let that bastard Valar destroy I will. my family. He and hopefully, blood. Uh, that, that other dude will help me. Lands of House Sarwick. More Swistful. have this letter which proves his involvement in the sewer murders. I have to find out what it is that links these murders and expose Valar's treachery. Once the people learn of his treachery, the Queen will have no choice but to sever her ties with him. You are right. The answer probably lies with the bastards that the Queen is hunting down. Hmm. I'm not sure I follow. Well, if you think about it, isn't that what all these murders have in common? All the victims were bastards. In fact, you helped track one of them down yourself, didn't you? I can't remember that. Which was the one I tracked down? You need to kill this person. Oh yeah, that's right. The queen wanted their mother's hands head on the spike. This bastard child was related to an enemy of the queen. Both are dead on her orders. Yeah. Indeed. But I think that the hounding of the bastards hides more than a simple plot. After all, why did she have to call on you? If these targets really were enemies of the crown, why didn't she send the gold cloaks? Indeed. She chose an inconspicuous method. That's a time. very good the question. I wish for this matter to be made public. 
These bastards are not chosen at random. Valar himself is one, but he's not worried. So there must be some other link between them. But what? I can't put my finger on it. I oh. might have a lead on this matter. One of my contacts at this court is... passed a letter on to me. Awesome. It's from Lord John Aaron himself, the King's Hand. He sent it to the Red Keep some time before his death. He was poisoned, was right? For Grand Meister Pycelle, who sits on the Royal Council. A letter just before his death? You claim he wrote a letter just two weeks before his death, but How? what did it say? Well, John Aaron asked the Grand Meister to consult a book on the lineages of the Seven Kingdoms. And this came after he was seen in the company of Stannis Baratheon, St visiting various dens of ill repute. Oh. It caused quite a stir. If you're unfamiliar with these two men, they have long established reputations of unfailing virtue. I remember Stannis, but neither of them would ever I recognize that name, name, but I don't After remember who that was. I learned that the hand had oh, visited half Stannis, a dozen Stannis. bastards Stannis. that day. One of whom Sorry. was the potter that you and Sir Valar killed. In light of all these pieces of information, I've some doubts that John Aaron's death was by natural causes. You think yeah, I think he was, was murdered. About town and consulting some That's what I think. Lineage, that someone had the hand of the yes, king like Robert was. Think about it. Oops, if spoiler. Discovered something about those or will be, that actually. Someone powerful didn't want him to know. I have a feeling that this book on lineages holds the key to this mystery. And I've sent word to a man capable of shedding light on all of that for us. He's a meister of the citadel called Rupert. He's also an expert in ancient texts, and it just so happens Rupert. that he has worked on the book. I so he's like Daniel Jackson but he has agreed in, to from Stargate. He was asked he's to expert in ancient texts Why and uh, languages. Grand Meister Heck yeah. Pycelle is the Queen's loyal servant. It would be highly inadvisable to contact him directly. However, there is still one concern to settle. The payment. How much is he asking for? That's the problem. He does not seek what? money. If he did, this matter would already be settled. He wants a particular settlement, but he refuses to explain himself in writing. He would rather discuss this in private. Fine. I will meet with him. Where can I find him? The meeting has been arranged near an illegal arena, hidden in the sewer. Oh. I sincerely hope... I was there not a long time ago. I've already taken the liberty of sending Sir Desmond there. As he knows these parts well, he will be able to come to your aid if something goes wrong. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Hall. It sure will be. If I get the companion, it sure will get to. Uh, I, I will get into trouble if I will get the companion. B E A U T H A L L E V E R B A L E. Fight! 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 Hello there, Rupert. Maester Rupert, here is the man I was speaking of, Sir Alistair Sarwick. It's an honor, sir. Now that your friend is here, let us get straight to the point. Your head look. I understand. Your head looks that more like a has piqued your uh, Neanderthalis. The book on the I don't want to be mean, but room. it's extremely flat. I mean, you, it don't, don't get ahead it's of like You'll directed good, backwards. He, he doesn't have a forehead. I will let uh, Desmond deal with this because he probably knows it better than me. What do you think, Sir Desmond? I'm waiting to see exactly what kind of price the Maester is asking for. The price is my life. You have no doubt heard of the secret fights organized in this arena. Well, I've gotten myself into a bit of a debt there. What kind of debt? The kind of bet I'll never be able to fully repay. I wage it with the owner of this ring. A life of servitude against all his riches. And I lost. As is traditional for merchants of the free cities, Ossifer is proclaiming to everyone that I'm his slave. He left me only one way out. If I want to be free again, I have to defeat his champion in the arena. The problem is that his champion is a savage warrior who goes by the name of Eric. Eric? They say he can crush the skulls of his enemies with his bare hands. Sounds like a wild, you wild no chance against him. Exactly. But Ossifer never said I couldn't appoint a man to fight for me. Unfortunately, I don't know of anyone in King's Landing who could possibly defeat such a brute. 
I see where he's going with this. Now I understand why you have turned to us. Yes, I'm sure it's quite obvious. Yeah. I think you stand a much better chance in this arena than me. Maybe. It's just that I don't typically put on a show in illegal fights. Sir Alistair, a man must sometimes take the darker path that will lead him to the light of justice. Come on. This book would allow you to see exactly what the Queen fears so much, and to bring down Valar at the same time. Yeah, that's Fine. true. I'll do it. I will do, do it. whatever is necessary to avenge Garwin's death. Wonderful. You're a lifesaver, sir. You know full well that I am not doing this for you, Robert. No matter. <laughs> it all amounts to the same thing for me. Leave me a moment. I need to formalize everything with Ossifer. There he is, Ossifer. That man right there is my champion. Oh, I really didn't think you'd manage to talk some poor bastard into this. Excuse Welcome, me, sir. I can use the might of your lord to kill you. You're willing to risk your life you. for this ass of a man? I hope you know what you're Well, doing. you sure is a so jerk, so word, why not? Eh? If he defeats your champion, my debt is no more. Yes, but we both know that will never happen. Eric is undefeated. Even the undefeated will be defeated sometime. You'll need a fighting name. How do you wish to be introduced to the crowd? I choose my name in honor of the Rolot. I will be Azor Ahai, Warrior of the Light. What a spectacular name. It should be a real crowd pleaser. Take the door on the left and prepare yourself down there. Then speak With to the, the power guard of when you're Lord, ready. I will He'll give me the signal and open the gate it. for you. Better say your prayers. My champion, Eric, comes straight out of the wild land. I said it! The he was a fucking wild, wild name. Remember, oh, your champion dies today, I told you. <laughs> your family will join you in your Like a wildling. Surgery. And he's a wildling. <laughs> God. Time to prep. The fight is going to start any time now. I was able to learn a little about your opponent. Ask okay. me what you'd like to learn, as we have precious little time. Uh, weakness? Does this giant have some sort of floor I can take advantage of? Like fire damage? Once he bleeds, it doesn't stop. Cut him and he'll continue to weaken as the fight drags on. Do you hear that? This is it. It's time for your duel. A flame will soon be extinguished. Okay, so I only will have to use... Um, where is it? Damage... No, I don't have bleed. It's with, it's with the other person. Oh God! Oh damn it! Well, at least I have like uh, I can set him on fire. I'm ready. Are you ready? Let a hey, oh let's Open go. Open the gate. Let's get this over with. The power of Rolor. I he's a wild, 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 wild. He's wild. Oh my god, look, they, they are twins. Prepare to be amazed. Tonight, we are lucky enough to be witnessing some unexpected entertainments. For your pleasure tonight, a stranger decided to step up into our arena. Please welcome. Azor Ahai! He's going up against a warrior who has fought and killed more than 12 men! Well, um, I don't want to brag, but I've killed four over a hundred men. Here is Sorry. Herok of the wild lands that lie beyond the wall. Only one of these warriors will leave this arena victorious. Which will it be? I hope you have all placed your wagers. Let the fight commence. Burn, bitch. Ah, oh, shit, I don't have that. Okay, let's go with blinding dust and silver strike. And attack, and attack, and attack, and attack. Oh shit. This is not good. And stun. Oh, too late. Damn it. 
So let's do it. I want to loot him. Oh, I gained a level. I gained a level. I am done here. Wish I could teabag you or something. Oh, that fight was uh, quite easy, I have to say. You should be proud, Sir Alistair. That was a fight to remember. <laughs> Wonderful. You just saved my life. Damn, you killed one of my best men. But by the seven, was this show... I right? mean, it was uh, it me or him. Old days, so. In the time of the great Lucifer the Unvanquished. What a fight. I was not fighting Lucifer? for glory. The book, Rupert. Here you go. You deserved it. You're an excellent fighter. Thank you. If you ever fight in these parts again, you must send me word. Let us return to my lord's residence, Sir Alistair. We'll feel more at ease there. You go on ahead. I'll meet you there. Very well. Here, take this key. It'll let you access the basement from the courtyard. Who? I made good use of it at times when my lord sent me down here to recruit fighters. Oh Be yeah, safe that's right. And return to us soon. Come back any time. That's right. Friend. This arena will always welcome you. You will soon make a name for yourself and a fortune. Just let me find a new champion first. It's going to take a while, so feel <laughs> free to take a look around town in the meantime. Going downtown, no problem. Meet Lord Halton. We'll, I will do it. If I'm interested in gladiator fights, return to Ossifer. No, thank you. I'd rather go here. Sir Alistair, Desmond was just telling me of your adventures. Congratulations on your victory. Would that thank I you. didn't have to fight, but at least we have the book. Get the book out. We must start our research without delay. I don't understand. I'm on it. What could John Aaron have possibly found in this book? Indeed. I also cannot see what secret this Bloodline, perhaps? Wait. Go back. What did you see? Maybe I'm mistaken, but the bastard that I hunted down with Valar, he had dark hair and blue eyes. All births from the marriages between Baratheons and Lannisters have this in common. Raven hair prevails over golden. Exactly. Of course. Now I know what John Aaron discovered. Children. What are you talking about? We have been researching the bastard line when we should be looking at the legitimate children. Cersei is a Lannister and Robert is a Baratheon. Their children should have dark hair and blue eyes as is written in the book. It has always yes. been so. And yet, they are blonde. The royal children are illegitimate. This is what John Aaron discovered. Or it's about 25% 20, chance if you have a queen is brown hair. They are the only true descendants of King Robert Baratheon. Oh. That's why the Queen wants them dead. Relors love. Oh. The Queen even involved me in this treachery. She didn't hesitate to execute the bastard children of that fool Robert to keep his adultery a secret. Everything she does. She does so to serve her Exactly. Son. Her people might well die, and on her orders too, if she deemed it necessary. Yeah. And Valar being her little pet only makes matters worse. This news makes the race to control Riverspring even more dire. The future of my people is at stake, and the only reason Valar desires the lands are power and vengeance. Jamie. No doubt Cersei finds watching her cat spore groom himself in her image an amusing distraction. It's time we did something. If not, your lands, and perhaps the realm, may never recover from this. He is right. Indeed. And this Changes is exactly what they're time. fighting with in the... To flounder on such bam bam bam. It seems that we are in agreement. In the series too. I think it's time I confided in you. When Lord you Stark know, finds friend, out... He... ...claimed the Iron Throne just after your departure. 15 years ago. He From that moment on, he so I mean, he's people. happy about that. The Queen took advantage of this and shop ended shop up shop the real power through her numerous schemes. Your father and I quickly realized that no mm. good could come of this monarchy. Nothing like this would ever have happened during the times of the Targaryen rule. Under their aegis, the kingdom was more prosperous, untroubled, and governed in a much fairer way than with Robert Baratheon and his damned Queen Lannister. 
Are you sure? I mean, wasn't he king mad? Okay, sure. Perhaps it was like the last king that was mad, but that's from like incest. After like, I mean, for uh, generations. But uh, the Targaryen line is no more. It actually is. But the current, yeah, it, it's worse. Robert was a great warrior, but he's a poor regent. In comparison, the state of the kingdom... Stark should have been the king. Rule, and yet they would have been the uh, much better. Most. That is exactly what your father and I thought. And in time, we came to understand that we weren't the only ones disappointed in the usurper. Oh. Many others were of the same opinion. Lords, as well as ordinary men. Gradually, we became a group and realized that by joining forces, we could perhaps bring about change. Our cause wow. continued to spread. Our plans had time. That's why my father was today, killed. This group has become a true brotherhood, both powerful and unique. Brotherhood of Steel. I wish for you to join the Brotherhood. We share the same goals. Together, we will avenge the death of your brother. Together, we may be able to save River Spring by bringing back the Targaryen. Well, as, a, as long as it isn't that stupid son of a bitch, the guy, not the daughter, but the guy, he is completely mad. As long as it is the daughter, it should be fine, I think. I mean... Your cause is just. I accept. I'll join your ranks. I'm glad to have your understanding. I wonder what that the will have power for our fates later on. is no longer a right. It is a duty. Your father and I have been striving towards this for a long time. It's been an age that we've sought a breach. To bring this power but to But the problem is that... What is your plan? Stark we'll is with Baratheon today, and then we have Lannister. To Valar, as well as the Queen's influence. So it will Once be like Tyrell Martell he will have them executed against this the entire the kingdom overthrowing him. His actions will spark a revolt. If the revolt catches on, we'll take this opportunity to rally the people and the various lords of the seven kingdoms. While they kill each other, we'll be building strength. Very well. So let us send ravens throughout the kingdom to spread the news. Let us not be too hasty, my friend. The queen has powerful allies. This attack needs to be decisive. If we show our hand too soon, the game will be lost forever. Besides, okay. our goal is not to create anarchy. Ah. We still need time to arrange the succession to the throne. In the meantime, let us gather all the evidence we can find to ensure the widest support possible. What we have now is guilt-edged information, but it lacks the substance it needs to really drive the point home at the moment of revelation. Where else do you think we can find further evidence? Your father and I always believed that the best way to manipulate the situation was to sow discord among the royal couple. Today's discovery is the result of all our hard work. Oh. Your father compiled a list detailing all of Valar's abuses of power on behalf of the, the queen. The queen killed that everyone that found out that was ripe for exploiting. Its father uh, always understood the true nature of Valar. And sent me a letter revealing some important findings. I think. He wished to speak to me in person, but he died before he got the chance. I think he wanted me to know about his findings, and that they are still somewhere in Riverspring. You'll recognize the documents I speak of by the Targaryen dragon inscribed along the bottom of each page. Mm. They will no doubt be encrypted. The Brotherhood uses its own language in case our documents fall into the wrong hands. Old language? That's good to know. I must leave the task of finding it up to you. Um. Valar is after a woman who is of great importance to the Brotherhood. I've made the necessary yeah. arrangements regarding this matter, and I need to return to Castlewood you in order have. to manage this operation. My stay at King's Landing lasted longer than expected. I know this woman. I know this woman. Jane. Her name is Jane Greyster. I was supposed to help Valar look for her and bring her back to the Queen. Dead. Dead. I see. Know then. That for our brotherhood, this young girl is perhaps the only solution to the woes of this kingdom. We will speak of this again once you find your father's documents. What about Valar? Don't concern yourself with him. One of my spies has infiltrated his gang, 
I am told his every move. Very well. We'll meet again at Castle Wood once I get hold of my father's findings. Good luck, my lord. I wish you luck too, my friend. And don't forget, those documents are of the utmost importance. Return to River Spring to find the documents you need. Interesting. Quest log updated. Uh, I will go down to the arena and make another fight. The flame protect me. Incredible! Only one of the Rubeck brothers still stands. Incredible! And that was very easy. The son of the, of of the, the warrior. warrior. This is a fierce Azor Ahai is only moments away from victory. Woo! Incredible! What say? Let him live. Let and what does the victor think? Okay, no need to kill him. A victory is a victory. It will be no brighter if the shadow of death hangs over it. Hurrah! One person. <laughs> Hurrah! Quest log updated. Wait, wait, wait. That's enough. That's been enough for this one. I mean, there's been a lot of conversations, even though that one went on for like 30 minutes something. But uh, there's a lot of other things. I mean, a lot of this video is only conversation. Not so much running all the place around, and um, some fighting too. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I made the falls for you guys.